Hi, it's Jonathan Kay here from Sims You Share, and in this video I'm going to show you something that a lot of people have asked for, which is coming down the pike in the next version, but I'm going to show you how to do this in the current version, how to add your own clip art, how we're going to hack Sims You Share to add our own, um, we're going to add some firefighters with a hose line. And this is not putting them into the background picture, this is actually bringing them into the scene where you can move them around and place them and everything like that. So it takes a little bit of patience. Let me show you a little example here. If I have this scenario, I want to put some firefighters with a hose line spraying water on the building, or if I wanted to put a victim. Now, what it's going to take is having some clip art picture that you want to put into your scene, uh, some kind of photo editor, such as Photoshop Elements, or it can be a free one, a text editor on Windows like Notepad or WordPad or Notepad++, um, on, Win on Macintosh, TextMate or the, um, the text editor or Sublime. You can take a little bit of comfort editing text files and then a little patience to line stuff up correctly. But you can, once you get the hang of it, just take maybe a minute or two to put in your own pictures. And again, in the future we're going to have this as a much easier operation, but you can do it right now with almost any version of Sims you share. So let's get started. So let's say I've got this picture here and I want to add my firefighters. Well, i got to go find, let me go back over here. I'm going to go uh, back to my main screen. I'm going to minimize this. I've got my Photoshop elements here. And I have a handy dandy picture already of some, um, some firefighters with a hose line. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to edit this. I'm going to create, let me show you in a moment. Here's my firefighters, but I don't want all that background. I want to put the background of my scenario in there. What I've got to do is make some transparent areas. I've got to, what I'm going to do is basically cut out these guys, and I'll just sort of whoop, let me actually cut it out with the uh, with that hose stream as well. And now what I'm going to do, just do a really not a terrific job here. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to now paste it in a, with a transparent background there. And now what I'm going to do is go about kind of um, editing. I'm going to try and sort of uh, step this down a little bit more. And you see what I'm going to do is basically take away the background there, because that's going to be replaced by whatever background I'm going to be putting it onto. And so what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to come back when I've done a little better job. Hold on a second. Okay, simulation fans, we're back now. So what I've done, not a particularly great job, but I've removed a lot of the background there. What I'm going to do is going to save it. And I'm going to now save it, make sure I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And I'll just put it on my desktop and I'll call it uh, Fire FFS PNG. I want, um, uh, let's see, whoop, got to save it as FFS PNG. Let me hit save. Now I want to make sure not interlaced if you're given that option. And now I've got it on my desktop. So what I'm going to do, you can see there's the original version and there's the one that has the PNG transparency. I'm going to go and copy this. I'm going to go right here and wherever copy is, copy. And now I'm going to go find in where my Sims you Share folder is. So let's say Sims you Share in my uh, arrangement here is in my uh, document folder. And I'm going to go to Sims you Share. And I'm going to then say in my Sims and Richie house is over here. It's got the background. And I'm just going to paste it over there. So now the key thing here, now I'm going to actually go to this simdef file. And I'm going to here and I'm going to edit it, but I'm going to open it with um, uh, with my editor, I'm with Notepad++, but you can also edit it with Notepad. And so what will happen here, now we're going to be editing the simulation definition file. So you got to make sure. Now, actually, before we do that, what I'm going to do is go here into my sim folder and I'm going to copy. Good idea to, before I go and mess up that Richie House thing, I'm going to go to simdef, copy, and paste it. And I'm just going to keep a copy of it in case I mess, mess up some of the editing. Uh, not that that's happened before, which means, yes, it's happened before. So once I'm inside here, inside Richie House, what I'm going to be looking for is looking for the location where I want to add that picture. And um, I already have something down here on line 29, which says type CSPIC background. That's going to be the key. What I want to do is take the whole line. I'm going to go here all the way from the less than sign all the way over to the slash less than sign, slash greater than sign. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go somewhere in the order from front to back. So victim man is in the front. I'm going to go and paste it. 
what I'm going to do is say leave element type C as picked. I'm going to say background. The ID, I don't really, that's just got to be something unique. So I'm going to say FFS. Now this is a key thing here. Instead of BK0JPEG.JPEG, I'm going to say FFS.PNG. Now it says here background is true. This is not the background, so I'm going to say no. It's not the background. This is the X and Y position where it's located on the screen. I'll leave it that. I can move it later. And then the scale position. This is how much to scale the photo up and down. I'm going to say, just for a guess, I'm going to scale it in the X by 75 and the Y by 75%. So I'm going to now save this file. And now if I go back into Sims you Share and I go and edit my Ritchie House one, we're going to see our firefighters right there. Do you see the firefighters? And so now I can just drag them over here and I'm moving that X and Y. I can't scale them yet, but um, if I want to do it, now when I hit done, and if I go back into my editor, and this one will tell me that it was modified. I'm not sure if Notepad directly will do that, but this will actually move my X and Y and the scale. If I want to make these guys a little bigger or smaller, I can adjust my scale. So um, let's say I, make, I want to make them like 0.65 or so. Now if I go back here, and now I'm going to go back into Sims you Share, I have to go back and hit done, and then go back and edit and they'll be a little bit smaller and there's the guys right there so that's basically how you can now when I actually go put this over here and if I want to actually put some smoke in there to make it look like they're actually um, if they're actually putting water on there I might do some smoke like a laminar smoke I might put that right behind them let's say I, I put that in the in their fogs in their, their, their stream over there maybe I drop this beneath them so now it's now it'll be behind that picture and so now now notice if I want to also change the visual order I can click on these guys and use the up and down order here to change their order relative to other smoke so now when I'm done here and let me actually go and also change it so it's a fast uh, instead of that laminar smoke being just so slow and lazy I'm gonna go here and click on this and I'm gonna speed that guy up a lot so I'll speed it up to be as fast as possible there and so now let me also shrink it a little bit more, make it look, look a little bit more like a pattern there. Maybe even um, I could I could also uh, let me also now go and make it a little bit narrower, so a little bit narrower path there. So now let's take a look at how it looks. There we go. There's our little smoke pattern. Now we can't get rid of this guy here. So he's there, but we could just reuse that. And so you see the idea of editing the text file and we can put this this guy in here. Now what happens, this is now going to get into a little bit more of an advanced section. What if you wanted to, like a victim, see if I click on this victim, he disappears. But if I click over here, he doesn't disappear. Is there a way to actually make your new clip art thing here appear and disappear? And the answer is yes, with a little bit more technical information. So if, you, if you've had enough, if this is what all you want, you're done, it's good, you can go, You can stop the video. If you're ready to go a little bit more and see how can I clear my victims or clear my firefighters, just continue watching. So the key thing about, I'm assuming you're continuing watching now, the key thing about making this disappear, we can't make it clickable, but we can put a victim behind our guys and make the victim clickable and then link the victim being clicked with our new guys. So let's see how that works and we can do that um, with, a, with some automated way or through the program and some manual. What we're going to do is going to say let me go here and bring another person, anything that's clickable and it can actually be if you have the newer version it can be um, any of the containers as well. We're going to actually hide that so it doesn't really matter. So let's actually use a uh, general duty metal to represent our firefighter. So I'm going to just kind of I can just leave it alone over here, rotate it there and I'm going to bring it down. This is going to be what we click on to make it go away. So I'm Now what I can do here is I can actually set, um, well I can't set the opacity here, but the key thing what we're going to do is we're going to look at this tap control. Uh, you may or may not have used this in your other making victims and the thing what's going to be really critical is what's called sync variable. When I go here there's a sync variable which means that when this gen duty metal sync thing is going to control the visibility of my container. So if I go here, let me play this, and if I click on the container, by default, it 
disappears. If I double click, it comes back. Now what we're going to do is bring that container behind the guys so that that and uh, let me bring it behind them and I can actually even um, let me just keep going back. I'm going to also shrink it a bit so it's not as um, it's not as evident there. And um, if I also go here in tap control, there's a, a feature called tap tap target scale. I can actually go here and change. You see that green thing that's showing up? That's the area in which I tap and it disappears. So if I go there and now if I actually can I can make the barrel a little bit smaller so I can really hide it behind them. So there's that. So now that barrel is controlled. See if I actually click, you might see a little bit of the barrel. Probably don't see it peeking out, but if I click on it, it disappears. So what we're going to want to do now is go back to the text file and we're going to want to associate that barrel variable which is going to get turned on and off by our clicks. We're going to associate that variable, that thing, with these guys. So now if I go back, if I hit back for a second here in editing, and I'm going to just go back even one more, and I'm going to bring up my text editor again. Now you, might want, you may want to reload that file if your text editor hasn't, isn't telling you that it's changed. And what we're going to see here, if we look at this element in locations, initial location, we have victim man. You see here this line right after, sync var table man sync. But if we also see here, we've got our CS picture with our firefighters, and it's got our things. And then right after, general duty metal has ID whatever. But this sync thing says sync var table key general. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this less than slash element. We're going to copy this and the sync. I'm going to copy that, and now I'm going to go, this is the tricky part here, I'm going to go to the end of the element, I don't want to have it slash greater than. For people who know XML, they'll know what that's doing. Instead of slash greater, I want just greater than. So that's an important thing to watch. Then I hit return, and I paste, and now, if you look, now I've got it, I'm basically saying, I've got my slash element here I've added, and I add the sync var table general duty metal sync and property visible, prop equals visible. So I save that. So what I've done is I have taken the variable which controls the visibility of the container, and now I've associated the visibility with the, the picture. So again, this is a lot more advanced, but it's not, but it really gives you a little extra edge if you want to have it show up or not show up based on a keystroke. So now if I go to Richie House, and I hit edit. Now I'm not going to see anything different. Still got those guys. But if I hit play, now when I click on the barrel, the guys disappear. Now um, I also, well, I have this string, this the stream here. That's not too, not too good. But anyway, maybe you don't want to add that in. And if I double click, if I'm clicking on the barrel, and I get those guys back. So this is an easy way to be able to. Um, uh, well, let's also see. I, uh, I, I bet that if I actually associate that fog stream, it'll work as well. Let's take a look at that. I'm really uh, flying by the seat of my pants here. I think this will work. Let's actually sync our our gray laminar. Remember that what we're going to do is go to the end of it. Instead of the slash, instead of the slash greater than, we're going to put a greater than, and I'm going to just copy sync variable right there. And so now I've got my gray laminar. Now notice how I've got sync, and then I have this less than slash element. So now I've, I've linked the gray laminar, the general duty metal, and the CS picture of the guys. Let's see if this will work. And I'm going to click on this over here. And now if I hit play, and if I click on it, hey, not bad. Now if I double click, they're both coming in there. So wasn't quite sure that was going to work. I know you really believe that. But uh, as we saw, a tiny amount of comfort editing text files will get you part way. A little patience to line stuff up will get you further. And that can get you a long way before uh, we actually release our easy to use method of doing this um, in the next several months, probably in the fall uh, or winter 2015 update. So this is Jonathan Kay from SimsUshare. Thanks for watching. And please email or call me if you have any questions.